Well, hello there, Mr. Average. I saw that drive off the first tee. Bit embarrassing, eh? But I tell you what, you've come to the right place and you've come at the right time. We've currently got a fantastic deal on our golf grips where you can buy nine and you can get three free. I said you can buy nine and you can get three free. That means you can get your grips done and get your woods done free. What a great deal. Why not support your favourite football team? Red and white, Liverpool. Blue and white, the mighty Tractor Boys. Yellow and green. Come in, get this fantastic deal which lasts until the end of the month. You can sort these horrible, slidey, shiny grips for once and for all. If you're playing at least once a week, which most of you are, you should be getting your grips done once a year. So let's go upstairs, show you how we put a new grip on here, and let's sort out Mr. Average's drive off that first tee for his next competition. Come with me. Okay, so here we are in the repair workshop at Rookery Park Golf Club, and I'm going to now remove this grip for the gentleman who wants to improve his game. So the first thing we do is take our Stanley blade. It's a hooked blade, which will sit underneath the grip so that we don't damage the shaft. Pulling the blade away. So off comes the grip. There we go. So that now just leaves the shaft here. And we're going to now place one of these brand new beautiful grips on. So we need double sided tape, which we have here. That goes wrapping around the shaft there, nice and smoothly. Double sided sticky tape. And then the tray, because we're going to use as a lubricant, we use white spirits. Now what that does is that lubricates the grip tape. We slide the grip on and then the white spirits dries out and the grip is sealed. Place that on there. One more. On goes the grip. Now the important thing here is we get the grip on nice and squarely. Squeaky bench. So we get the grip on as square as we can to the leading edge of the club head while it's in the vise. We then remove it, clean off any excess white spirits there. And I'm going to just check against the square vertical line, against the leading edge, and that's perfectly square down there. And hey presto, one beautiful new grip on the gentleman's club. Now let's go and see if that makes him perform a little bit better on the golf course. Yes!